What's up guys? Hope you guys are having a beautiful day, beautiful night. Hope you guys are staying safe, staying beautiful, staying amazing. We back at it with these short horror films. So you already know the deal. Hope you hopefully you got your snacks. Um let's get straight to it. Alright, first film by one of my favorite YouTubers, PG. Physical gamer. It's called Among Us, short horror film. Uh, I haven't watched it, so we're gonna watch it together. See what he, he talking about. Among Us is a horror movie, you know? If you ever played it. I like this. like it. He's all bloody though. It's either somebody got killed in front of him or he got or he killed somebody. What's going on? Is he doing his task? Is that what it is? Next video, Clown School, short horror film by Social House Films. Alright guys, if you have a phobia, get on out of here, because I do not want to be responsible. <laughs> Anyways, let's get it. This is so cool. How come you're selling this? Well, we've been lugging this junk around for 50 years. Belonged to my grandfather. He hosted some canceled kids show in the 70s called Clown School. 
Not sure if it even works. Oh, I, that's okay. I just like how it looks. I have something special planned for it. Treat her well. Can't imagine my grandpa would be too happy if he knew I gave her away. <laughs> Let's see if you even work. hot shit in the 70s. Good thing you were free. Ah, oh, here we go. It's coming on now. Ready to level up? Put two in one hand and one in the other. When the first ball hits its peak, toss the other in the air. Guarantee you that's clown school. Yep, clown school. Pause, or your arms fall off. What is that? Time to pick a hand. Left. Your first day of clown school is going great. You're such a great. Yeah, that was creepy. Good job. They have the perfect choice of music, don't they? Oh no, what is that? Obviously that's that clown. Yeah. Disappears. Turn it off, it's gonna come back. Even closer. Sleep with the lights on, please. Oh wow. Why are you that close to the TV? in the studio. Unplug it.
Next film. Alright. This is gonna be the last film because it's like uh, 17 minutes long. Miner's Mountain award winning short horror film. Hey, okay. Bennett Pellington. Okay, I see you, bro. Um, yeah, let's get to it. Okay, starting off like a movie. Lighthouse Films. Bennett Pellington. See you. Hopefully I didn't butcher your name. <laughs> okay, this is looking like a movie for real. About time. Evening, ma'am. My name is Officer Jeff. I know who you are, Gary. You can drop the cop routine. Come on now, Roseanne. Have some respect. I understand you've been hearing some strange noises tonight. You stopped since I hung up the phone. Do you know which direction it was coming from? Hey, we Not got too a sure, brother. Really. First, it seemed like it was coming from down below near the ravine. Then I heard something running through my driveway. Hooves. From a deer, maybe. I don't know. So I went to my reading room to see what the hell was out there. I could have swore it was an injured animal. It's making these grunting noises. That's why I dialed you. But then, I saw these yellow eyes just staring at me. And they were staring a long time. Please don't tell me he's the one that's gonna die. Roll up your window, bro. You have AC. Oh my gosh, I heard that. And that's pretty much it. I fell asleep. Woke up about an hour later and left. What about the deer? What about it? In your report? I know what my report says. I just don't see how that's relevant. Because I deem it relevant? Uh, what happened to your windshield? It says here your patrol car needed a new windshield at the county motor pool following your visit with Miss Barnes. I don't remember. This is him older. If we're just trying to put the pieces together, nobody's accusing you of anything. I am. You think you can come in here and cast the same aspersions on me you did back then and expect different results? Sure. Tell me what really happened. Did you see her? Did you see what was left of her? Oh my gosh. I did not murder Roseanne Barnes, nor did I have anything to do with her death. Wow. It came while he was sleeping? Sheriff. Please. What happened when you woke up? I want to know. I want to know. <sighs> Your car's off. One forty six AM. Battery's dead. You freaking dummy. Damn it.
Hello? That's not good. She's dead. Your window is still down. Oh, the head's gone? <laughs> Penny. like an ammo gun to it. Then I looked around for a short while longer, and then came back here and filed my report. At what time would you say you arrived back at the office? <sighs> Two, 2 15, Why do take. cops always do that? How like, look out the window when they're telling a yeah, story. I don't know, half an hour, maybe? Like in movies. 20 minutes. We timed it. There used to be a gas station at the base of Miner's Mountain, correct? Well, we recovered footage taken from a nearby traffic cam of you there that night, washing what looked to be blood off of your windshield. The deer head? I clipped the deer on my way out. Where were you from 7.30 night before last until 10 a.m. yesterday morning? Wait, what? I was at home with my wife. I came into work around 9.30. Do you normally come in around that time? No, I overslept. Hmm. It was my anniversary day before yesterday. What is going on? I took my wife to dinner at Miner's Kitchen and had a little more to drink than I should have. I gotta ask, what's up with the whole Miner thing? As I understand it, this town hasn't done anything of the sort since the 1920s. What is this called? Miner's Mountain. Okay. Back in the day, the Atlantic Coast Line Railroad attempted to build a tunnel through the mountain. It didn't work. A shaft gave way and trapped the miners inside. Out of respect for the men and women who lost their lives, the community dubbed it... Miners Mountain. There you go. Did anyone make it out? Gentlemen, I'm done here. Sir, I understand this could be Have a good evening. It's hunting season. I've got poachers to contend with. The body of an out-of-state woman was found yesterday morning about 10 a.m. She was severely beaten and her head was removed from her body. Very much like Miss Barnes. She was found about a half mile from where Roseanne was murdered. You are very familiar with that area, aren't you, Sheriff? Hmm. It must have been tough back in the day. Oh, gosh. Being the only black deputy in the department and all. Wait, excuse me? You know, everybody looking down on you. You trying to figure out where you fit in. I get it. It was tough. But look at you now. You and your people have come a long way. Get the hell out of my office. Dan. I'm not trying to get ill with him. I'm just trying to level with him, brother. Get the fuck out of my office. Oh, you want to hit me? You want to hit me? Is that what you did to her? She said something that pissed you off and you want to knock the living dog shit out of her. Huh? When all you want is a little bit of respect and she put you down. Hell, that would have pissed me off too. 
I've been there, I'd have done the same damn thing. But you showed her, didn't you? You showed her and that girl what happens when they don't give Sheriff Jerry Jeffries a little fucking respect. Dan, that's That don't enough. make no sense, bro. He wouldn't have a job if... You better lawyer up, you son of a bitch. Okay, I guess. Like the sheriff said, it's hunting season. Interesting. Nice house, okay. Beautiful kitchen. I definitely feel like I'm watching a movie with you guys. I hope you guys had your snacks. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this little short movie. <laughs> I understand you've been hearing some strange noises tonight. staring a long time before it let out this unholy roar not fit for the earth. You want to hit me? Is that what you did to her? You showed her, didn't you? That other dude does sure. not make no sense. What happened at Miner's Mountain? Hey, oh, honey. she scared me. I didn't hear you come home. It's late. Come to bed. the heck what are you hiding do you remember the Barnes case I saw something that night I was driving down the mountain and I had to slam on the brakes Someone was standing in the middle of the road. The heck is that? And there she was. The alien? She didn't seem human. It was more like an animal. The alien? And it just stared at me for the longest time. Eventually she left. I know what to do. I just sat in my car for nearly an hour. Never seen anything like. I abandoned Roseanne Barnes, Viv. And then that woman. And because of that, she lost her life. I can never take that back. Jerry, every morning you go out there and you put your life on the line because you're a good man. Nothing is going to change that. I thought that for 20 years. Whatever it is, you ain't gonna find it tonight. I'm gonna bring Lucy in. Go to bed.
Not the puppy. No. Cops pull up, your wife is about to get killed. Wow. Your wife gets killed. <laughs> wow. Golly. Great. I loved it. I loved it. It was a slow start off, but it built to something bigger than what I, what I pictured. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. <laughs> it's a good little short film. Um... And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are being safe, staying beautiful, staying blessed. And see you guys in the next video. Peace.